The desert is usually a pretty desolate place. Cactuses, rocks, not a whole lot. Pretty dry, but occasionally you get into an area where it's a little uh, oasis, a little uh, safe haven, if you will. So this is the Baja California tree frog. It's a small little frog, about two inches uh, from uh, snout to vent. And uh, you know that it's a Baja California tree frog because of the stripe that goes through its eyes. The color of these little tree frogs can be pretty variable. Typically they're green or brown, but they can be grayish, reddish, kind of cream colored. These frogs are active uh, during day and night. They'll be more active uh, in the nighttime nocturnal when the temperatures are a little hot. Um, weird sounding through here, the canyon, you end up uh, getting the wind coming through here and it sounds like a helicopter. The funny thing about tree frogs is it's kind of a little bit of a misnomer. You know, you can find them in the trees, but typically they're going to be ground dwelling. Um, hang out on the ground in little bushes, um, underneath debris, rocks, and, and uh, lo logs and stuff like that. But, um, you know, they're not really always found in the trees. In fact, both of these were found on the ground uh, in about an inch of water or so. One interesting thing about these Baja California tree frogs is they uh, are actually extremely popular and you probably didn't even know it. A lot of times in Hollywood in the movies you'll hear background frog noise. That's these guys. Uh, and a lot of times in the movies the movie takes place in an area where they're not even found. Which is kind of funny but nobody really knows that but famous frogs right here. The defense that this frog has is its color stays motionless and uh, blends into the environment. The other defense that it really has is it can hop away and that's about it. What, what it preys on is invertebrates, insects. So again, the Baja California tree frog. So I found the brown tree frog, or the you know brown variation of the tree frog. Here's the uh, green variation. Well, I hope you all uh, appreciate the uh, time and effort that it takes to uh, catch different types of stuff. I'll tell you what, this is one of the hardest uh, finds I've hiked five six miles freaking hundred degree weather um, sun's just beaten down but that's what these uh, animals like um, so it's it's a lot of hard work but totally worth it when you find the velociraptor of the desert right here this is the collared lizard uh, more specifically the great basin collared lizard it's a very fast diurnal lizard they get pretty good size um, 9 to 11 inches or so from snout to tail. These guys, like I said, they are the velociraptor of the desert. They kind of look like it when they get up on the rocks. That's where they like to hang out. Absolute voracious predator. Eat just about anything that it can uh, get its big head around, its big mouth around. It'll eat uh, insects, spiders, scorpions, other lizards, snakes, uh, even uh, uh, rodents, um, smaller uh, mice, and uh, and maybe baby rats and stuff like that that it can that it can get into. This is a uh, this is an average size one. Um, I've seen a couple bigger ones, also a couple smaller ones, but he's he's average size. He's a full adult. You see that they call him the collared lizard because of the black band around his neck. Out here, they get to be kind of a brown and and orange coloration to blend into their environment. 
in other areas i think i've seen in uh, colorado they get really really almost like turquoise green blue very pretty not to say this one's not very pretty but um, they they can be very very colorful so they uh, like i said they like to hang out on the rocks they're not super super good at climbing on the rocks but they like to to look it over on the rocks and kind of get a a view of the landscape and see what's around and if they see anything that they want to go after they'll go and take it out very very tolerant of heat like i said 100 degree weather one other thing is just like the leopard lizard they will bite and bite pretty good when i first caught him he wanted to bite me opened up his mouth they'll draw blood definitely draw blood very strong jaws so say bye